Welcome to the video abstract of our paper, Air Data Fault Detection and Isolation for Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Using Integrity Monitoring Framework. Here, we are mainly concerned with three important air data quantities, airspeed, angle of attack, and size slope. Air data is important because it ensures the aircraft is in a safe fly envelope. One of the challenges is that low-cost air data system is prone to fault. On the right, it is showing a typical low-cost ADS used on a small UAS. It only consists of a pitot tube, a transducer, and some plastic tubes. This air data system is simple but prone to fault. One of the most common fault mode is water blockage fault. The figure on the left shows how this fault occurs during a rainy or foggy day, which can be a safety threat. In this paper, we design an air data fault detection and isolation method for this particular fault. The past air data fault detection and isolation methods can be loosely separated into three categories, model-based, model-free, and data-driven methods. These three methods typically rely on either dynamic or kinematic model as well as the data to detect and isolate faults. However, many existing methods focus on algorithm. We want to use a method that focuses on system requirements and the integrity monitoring is an approach that allows to do that. One of the challenges is we had was when there isn't enough measurement at every time step, where number of measurement M is always less than number of state N. One of our contribution is that we proposed a sequential residual detection function to resolve the degree of freedom problem using a window of measurement. We also show that this detection function is a function of the observability matrix, which can be analyzed to assess the observability of the system in real time. We test our fault detection algorithm by cross-processing a Centera flight data set with the known water blockage fault signature. This can be shown on the left, where the Centera Phoenix experienced anomalous air data system in flight due to the erroneous airspeed weighting. On the right, we showed how the protection level bound can be used to protect synthetic alpha estimate. In particular, at the circled region, we see that the alpha estimate seems okay by the sigma bound, but it might be potentially unsafe when exceeding the predefined alert limit with aggressive dynamic motion. You can find our paper in Fall 2021 Navigation Journal, and thank you for your time.